now that we know the sewer actually works, we can get into the maintenance por portion of our program. Taking off the clutch, inspecting the needle bearing, make sure everything's working, and then repacking the bearing and reassembly. Now on this one here, and pretty much on all Macs, the clutch is left hand thread. So it's righty loosey instead of righty tidy. Got the washer. I don't know if you can read that. It says this side out. That's the side you want out. Clutch out. Drum itself, clutch itself, and most importantly is a small washer that goes back there. That spacer is very important. Don't lose that, whatever you do. Okay, now, in the drum itself, it looks pretty good. It's a little dirty. Give that clean underneath a nice clean surface. The bearing looks good. Both sides, nice and neat. Now as far as the teeth, yeah, they're worn. But nothing spectacular. I've seen a whole lot worse. This one will still hold the chain. Get another, uh, I don't know, maybe three, four sharpenings out of the out of the chain before you have to change this. But these are pretty common. You can get them up, you can get them on eBay. Okay, and the clutch itself, though dirty. It's good, the springs aren't broken, the retainer's holding it in place. Everything seems to be worn or chipped. Okay, and except for cleaning the, the shoe surfaces here, which will help considerably, the clutch look, looks like it's in pretty good shape. After cleaning all the surfaces, what I usually do is I take some brake cleaner and a rag and get in and over here. This coloration is just pretty much there. You're not going to dig that too much out. As long as the mating surfaces are nice and smooth and clean, they should have no problem with the clutch. Same thing with the inside of the drum. Get it all nice and clean. Next step, take a little bearing grease, synthetic I use, squirt it inside into the into the bearing here, too much. Just want it, you want it just on the bearing itself and no other surfaces. So I spread a little in, take a screwdriver, just kind of push it in between the rollers, get it around as much as I can. It really doesn't take much, and the synthetic will last forever. Excess on the surface. That's the only place we want it, especially not on the inside. And the brake shoes, clutch brake is sort of like the brakes on your car that need to be clean and dry. Get any oil on them, they start to burn and discolor. Okay, first, the washer. side out and remember this is left hand thread so it's lefty tidy now they don't recommend you use an impact I think they were talking like you know air impacts but a little guy like this is good and you're done that should work pretty darn good